Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new game and a brand new series on the channel. Um, and this is literally a brand new game. It came out on Saturday. It's Dolores, a Thimbleweed Park mini adventure. And it's a, a little spin-off of Thimbleweed Park. So if you've uh, been around the channel a little while, you know Thimbleweed Park is one of my all-time favourite putting and click adventure games. And certainly my favourite game to have come out in the last five years or so. So when I saw this came out on Saturday night, um, I woke up to a tweet on Sunday morning and I just had to play it as soon as I possibly could. Um, so that means that unfortunately Heavy Rain is on the back burner a little bit until we've played this. Um, I know, well I've been really enjoying it and some of you guys have been really enjoying it as well, but I just had to jump at the opportunity to play this as soon as I possibly could. So we're going to check it out. It's not a particularly long game I understand, depending on how long it takes to solve the puzzles. Uh, there's no voice acting or anything like that because it's been made in lockdown. Um, but it runs off the new engine, so hopefully we might get a new point-and-click adventure game from Ron Gilbert and Co. shortly enough as well. So, uh, left-click to move, or left-click to do what the cursor says. Right-click on an object to see more verbs. Okay. Uh, drag inventory onto other objects to do what the cursor says. Okay, so there's different controls. So let's jump in. Nineteen eighty-eight, part ten, Dolores. So I believe this is not connected to the story of the main game in any way. So if you haven't played the main game or seen me play it, hold that thought. I'm excited about my new job. Natalie has hired me to be the Nickel News photographer. I can't wait to get started. God, I love the soundtrack on Thimbleweed Park. My, are we the eager beaver this morning? Uh, I'm excited to get started. It will be a nice creative break from making games. It's not really the morning, it's just after 5pm. Um, be a nice creative break from making games. Interesting. I'm working on several stories for upcoming editions of the Thimbleweed Nickel, and we need photographs. I've made a list for you, and the camera is in the file cabinet by the door. Let me know if you need anything. More film, office supplies, info on your 401k. Good luck on your first day as a photojournalist. Photojournalist? That makes it sound important. I'd better find that camera, take a look at the list and get cracking. We've got a deadline, so no dilly-dallying. Uh, okay, so read my assignment. <clears throat> Dolores, thanks for joining the Thimbleweed Nickel photojournalism team. For your assignment, I'd like you to get the following photos of some upcoming stories. Public service piece about picking up trash. Story about the 4th of July. A good example of proximal phalanges. Photo of the editor of the Nickel News. Story about road safety. P.S. Thanks for helping out while you're on vacation from Mucus Flem Games. Okay. <coughs> so we've got to take photos of all these things, but of course they're puzzles. Apart from this one, I suppose. So, uh, we'll go back. Uh, let's talk to Natalie. Where did you say the camera was again? Look in the filing cabinet by the door. Okay, so um, how long will this assignment last? You need to turn in 30 more original photos. Wow, okay, it's 30. <coughs> <coughs> and then it's back to making games at Mucus Flem. Can I get some office supplies? Mm. I feel like we should probably get all of these. Paper clips? No you don't. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe we need a specific one then. Some manila folders. No you don't. Okay, I guess we don't. Uh, is there anything we do need? Stamps? Wow, she really doesn't want to give us any supplies, does she? <clears throat> uh, some number two pencils? No? Okay. Literally, she's saying no to everything. Um, <laughs> some whiteout? 
Wow, really unhelpful. Okay, uh, what can you tell me about my 401k? Best path to retirement as a journalist is to get another job. Okay, <laughs> kind of like game development. <coughs> Sorry, guys, my hay fever is quite bad at the moment. Never mind. Bye. Uh, we've got a deadline, so no dilly dallying. Uh, well, I quite like the way the sort of text zooms in. That's quite nice. The sign must be as old as the Nickel News. Right, let's go to the filing cabinet. Should look in the drawer and see if the camera is here, like Natalie said. Uh, look in, there we go. Look in. There's the camera. Okay, so is there anything in any of these other drawers? No, it's empty. Uh, no, okay. <coughs> uh, that's literally all we can do. Right, so. Let's take a photo. Ten shots left, okay. Can we... How do we use the camera? Do we drag it, don't we? Yeah, take photo of Natalie. Natalie will love this one. Let's look at it. It's a photo of Natalie. So we've got that one. That one's done. Story about road safety. Uh, I'm guessing that's probably in here somewhere, perhaps? Uh, Chuck Edmund committed to sanitarium. It's probably not that one. Uh, Willie's violin repairs post record profits. Lenore Edmund evicted. Uh, Madame Morena. Read H Scum to change music styles. Read Mime applaud silently for ransom. SD Diner nets another award. What's going on? They were rubbish before. Free commemorative glass at SD Diner. Eltron to reopen his pillow bear store. What? So things have changed. Factory security guard Ray is promoted again. Yeah, things have changed. No headline today. Old news photos. Okay, let's... Can we go outside? We can. Okay. Uh, Thimblecon advertisement. Let's read that. It's time to do the Thimblecon with Thimblecon 88. Sci-fi shows and movies, comic books, and the latest computer and video game technology. Get your tickets before they're all gone. Thimblecon was cool, wasn't it? Read the official notice. Please stop throwing your old cans and bottles into the backyard of my bookstore. I know how to curse you, right? That's Madame Morena, then. Uh, personals advertisement? Wanted clothes donations. Help Lenore out with some classy clothes. I'd rather you hadn't worn them, but I guess I can't be picky. <laughs> okay, so plumbing advertisement. Is that the plumber bros or whatever? Pigeon sisters plumbing. Wasn't it the pigeon bros before? <clears throat> Nothing is faster than the pigeon daughters. So things are different here. Is this like a parallel universe? Turn your dials to KSCUM 198.7 FM for the gnarliest tunes. DJ Cassie says, I hope you like Tuna Head. Tuna Head's my particular favourite. Um, weathered advertisement. Stupendous Brothers Travelling Circus. Headline act, Ransom the Clown. Family show starts at 2pm. Hmm. Missed connection ad. Looking for love. Seeking the person hanging out at the Vista last night. I think we might have a connection. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, public service, did we read that one? Your sheriff wants you to be green and clean areno. Ah, oh, the areno and the abu and the ahu. Don't litter on the highway or vandalise the storefronts. Uh, banking. Safely first savings, where saving safely is saving smartly. The stock market is soaring. We don't see it coming down anytime soon. Yeah. Oh, the Hitchin Post. This is still closed. It was closed in the main game, it's closed now. I wonder if, like, dust hunting is a thing in this one. Can we walk to Main Street? We can. This is still broken. It's a very leaky fire hydrant. Uh, wow, something smells really bad. Okay, can we go into the City Hall? 
wonder if Sheriff Arena is here. It's the Thimbleweed Tri-County Seal. Coroner Ahu? Or was it Coroner Abu? I've forgotten. It's been shut off. Can we... No, we can't open it. Okay. Anything in here? Just some old coroner files. We don't need anything to do with the coroner, do we? Public service piece about picking up trash. Right, we know where that is. Story about the 4th of July. A good example of proximal phalanges. That's going to be that skeleton, I reckon. Story about road safety. Hmm. Right, so... Is this going to be the phalanges? <coughs> I think it is. It's a photo of a skeleton. Yep, yeah, nice. Story about road safety. Story about 4th of July. Public service piece about picking up trash. So that's probably on that notice board, right? <gasps> the coroner's here. Hi, coroner. Hello, who, Dolores? When did you start adding a who after everything? <laughs> if you haven't played the main game, then you need to either play it or go back and watch my series because it will all make sense. I don't understand a who, what you're talking about. Right there, you just did it again. Have you been drinking formaldehyde? Trust me, just say no, a who. Whatever a who. Hey, the a who bit is mine. <laughs> there you go. Got ya. Uh, you and the sheriff should form a comedy team. You two could open for Ransom the Clown. Ransom the Beeping Clown. I'll talk to him or who about it. I have some great material about extracting a brain. I bet you do. So many references to the original game here. Um, not a lot of deaths in Thimbleweed Park, are there? Not really. I'm not sure why I still have a job. Uh, okay, bye. Good talking to you. Uh, what's... nothing there. Um, Facetron. Oh, they were deactivated. They should serve as a warner. So this is after the main game, is it? Scary to think that Uncle Chunk, Chuck getting digitised and sucked into his AI creation. <clears throat> I'm glad me and those federal agents were able to get him out. Of course, he'll probably spend the rest of his life in that sanitarium. What's the Tron? Th Why did that sort of light up when I did that? Is he flicking a coin or something over there? Chewy Caramel Center. <laughs> Odd. I didn't know you could mail order for coroner degrees. Would explain a lot. Okay, so should we go up to Sheriff Reno's office? Go check out up there. Hopefully he's in here. He is in here. What have you got in here, man? Some old police reports. Reports of minor infractions. Minor infractions again. Okay. Uh, I think that one came in the box. Why is he... Don't close those. It's a wanted poster. Wanted. One wanted poster, no reward. What the hell? <laughs> These things are creepy. Yep. Uh, anything in here? Don't close it, by the way. That's odd. There is a police report for trouble at the abandoned circus. See, that flashed up again. I don't know what that means. Does that mean it's to do with a future photo, perhaps? Just some more police reports. Perhaps it does mean that. Uh, okay. Can we turn the radio on? Can't reach it. Open the jail door. No, it's locked. Um, <coughs> oh, a speck of dust. The specks of dust are a thing. Yay! <laughs> Let's talk to the sheriff. Hi, sheriff. Hello, Reno Dolores. Uh, when did you start adding a Reno after everything? I don't understand a Reno what you're asking. Just then, you did it again. 
Are you on drugs, Areno? Just say no, Areno. <laughs> Whatever, Areno. I bet he's gonna gonna do it now. Watch. Hey, the Areno gag is mine. There you go. See. They always fall for it. Uh, not a lot of crime in Thimbleweed Park, is there? Not really. A new vagrant family has been hanging out on A Street. Ah, really? They haven't been causing any trouble arena, so I leave them be. Probably fell on hard times. We'll have to go check that out. Um, what's that I read about the circus being abandoned? What, Arino? Ransom's more popular than ever since he dropped the insult bit many years ago. Where did you read that? <clears throat> it's in your drawer? In your confidential police files? In the trash rag, the nickel news? Read it in an online BBS? In your confidential things? <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, okay, I was thinking about becoming a federal agent. Ever met one? Can't say a Reno that I ever have. Maybe I'll just make a game that has a federal agent in it. Sounds easier. Uh, okay, got to run them. Let's open the door and head out. So, we still need a story about the 4th of July, a story about road safety and public service piece about picking up trash. Now, was the public service piece perhaps on that notice board? There was something about people chucking trash, wasn't there? Oh, there's another speck of dust. Gotta get all of the specks of dust. I was really obsessed with those in the original game. <laughs> Realtor's office. Who would want to move here? <gasps> it's Willy! Hi, Willy. <coughs> Hello, Dolores. Why does he look younger? Uh, you're closing up late. Business is booming. Sorry, I can't talk. I've got to get home. It's my night to cook dinner. Night, Willy. It says Willy's watching violin repairs. Repairing watches and violins since 1957. I think the little clock is fake. Okay, can we... No, we can only look at it. Uh, can we head... Whoa. That glitched there, didn't it? What's the deal with these traffic cones? Ah, oh, traffic cones. Road safety, perhaps? Could that be road safety? I think it might be... Yes, it is. Right, okay, so we just need something about the 4th of July. And then... The other thing. That glitched and went like it was in the main game, where it's all burnt down. I wonder if this has something to do with that plot to ascend into the main game. I don't know. I'm not going to spoil it. Pillow bears. These pillow bears are so cute. They were all dad's idea. Hmm. Something funny going on around here, isn't there? Here's the bank. Uh, anything interesting on here? Help wanted bank teller closed until we find one. Okay, I want to head back to that notice board first, <coughs> like so, because uh, I've got a feeling that that might be another photo we need just here. Uh, was it this one? No, that's the clothes one. Official notice? Yeah, stop throwing your old cans, I bet it's that, right? I know how to curse you. Yes! We're on a roll. Okay, so we just need a story about the 4th of July then. Um, is it going to be something to do with fireworks, perhaps? Open all night, please mail something. Another speck of dust. Can we go in? Uh, boxes. Another speck of dust. Gotta get all the dust. 
It's a bunch of pillow bears waiting to be mailed out. Okay. Hey, there's a scuffed up mailbox here. And then just normal mailboxes. We'll have to remember there's a scuffed up one. If I had an email, this is where I'd put it. Important notice. Please stop trying to break into the mailboxes. Mmm. Tape. Probably the solution to a puzzle in another game. Yes. It's for weighing mail. It's showing the month of July. That was a long time ago. Is that the 4th of July thing? Let's try it. I think it is. Yes, we did it. Okay, excellent. We've got all of the first five pictures. That wasn't too difficult at all. Can't help you now. Have to keep sorting these pillow bear orders. Can't stop. Okay. So, that's our first five photos down. Um, so, let's head down here. And then we'll head back, I guess. <gasps> oh, these are the people. It's our family. <laughs> it's a burning trash can. Hello, Lenore. Right, I say we go back. We hand in our five photos, and then we come back and talk to those guys. This is just nothing. Laserdisc chalet. Right, let's head in. Because I believe the game saves after every set of photos, I think I was reading. There's no auto save, there's no save game, anything like that. So, uh, I think I'm done with the assignment. These look great. Prototype is now over. Uh, do I get a raise? Do I get a promotion? Do I get to keep wandering around? Uh, do I get a raise? Probably not, right? Nope. Oh, damn. Uh, do I get a promotion? Nope. Brilliant. Uh, do I get to keep wandering around? Can I quit the game? <laughs> do I get to keep wandering around? Nope. Oh. Can I quit the game? Uh, I think we probably can, but I've actually read that I think the game quits after each set of photos on one of the reviews on Steam. So uh, what we'll do is, should we press it and see what happens? Let's press it and see what happens. And I might have to cut back and come back to you in a minute. So let's do it. Can I quit the game? Okay. Play again and I'll have more photos for you to take. Okay, so yeah, I was right. Um, it basically quits the game and then you come back onto the game, relaunch it, and you get another set of photographs to look at. So there's 30 altogether. We've done the first five. Um, so we're going to make sure we get all 30 done and that then complete the game, obviously. Um, but I think that's a good place to leave it then. The first set is down. Right, pretty much exactly the right amount of time for the video. So... Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's bringing back so many memories and stuff from the original game. Um, it was one of the first blind playthroughs I ever did on this channel and was really what pushed me into the direction of doing blind playthroughs and of point and click games. Um, so Thimbleweed Park was, was a, a really big game for, for me <laughs> and this channel so it's really cool to be playing a spin-off um, and I can't wait to play more. Um, so as always guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new, or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.